Foot anatomy. In this video lesson, you will discover the construction, proportions, and anatomy of the human foot. In anatomy, the human foot has a complex construction. It consists of 26 bones. The human foot appears very different when viewed from front, side, or back. Many art students find it quite challenging to depict a foot realistically. In this video, I will show you the main things you need to know to draw a foot from live memory or imagination. Let us make a quick and simplified sketch of a foot following the drawing canons of the Renaissance artist Botticelli. In his paintings, human figures seem to be floating in the air as if they are standing on tiptoe. In this sketch, I depict three ovals, one large and two smaller ones. These ovals define the foot outlines. The main axis of the top oval is tilted diagonally. This is because the inner ankle bone is located higher than the outer one. The large oval represents the midfoot and the forefoot, excluding phalanges of toes. The third oval represents the bones of the foot where the toes join the rest of the foot. The tarsal bones can be compared to the bones of the wrist. I will skip the individual shapes of the seven tarsal bones and will depict them as a united block. The metatarsal bones are comparable to the five metacarpal bones. I already mentioned two arches that are located along the foot, the inner and the outer arch. You also need to know that there is another arch that goes across the foot. These arches absorb body weight pressure and distribute its weight during movement. The 14 phalanges of the toes are equivalent to the 14 phalanges of the fingers and thumb. There is also similarity between the thumb and great toe. They both have only two phalanges. As I promised you in the beginning of this course, we will only cover what is essential for a fine artist to know to draw a human body in a realistic manner. 